about the performing live and the touring? Is that something you enjoy or do you find that daunting? Yeah. Um, I, I kind of went through a, uh, a period of, well, at the start of the Vamps, it was obviously mega, mega exciting because they were the biggest stages that we that I'd ever I'd ever been on, you know, going from doing pub shows or really small venues of maybe like 20, 30 people to like the first tour that we did with the Vamps was supporting McFly. And I think, you know, the first tour was like Wembley Arena, which I think it was like 14,000. So that jump was insane. But then I think because the Vamps, we were very, very lucky that it just connected and exploded and really worked instantly. It meant that the kind of four or five years following that first McFly tour in 2013 were was kind of a whirlwind. And it and it, I think in a way it normalized and partially numbed the the ecstasy, the excitement from being on stage so much so that I didn't really enjoy it. And then I think maybe it's a getting older thing, maybe it's the pandemic thing, I don't know. I I really kind of had a, a period of uh, reflection and contemplation about my position in the band, my position in life. <clears throat> and I now have this new, f this new sense of, I don't know, rejuvenation with touring. And I really, I love the traveling. I, I really look forward to exploring new places and to, and I've got a real sense of appreciation for what music has done for me now in a way that I perhaps never have done. And that's why with, my solo tour, which is obviously on a much smaller level than than what I'm what I'm excited to do with the Vamps um, coming soon, I still get that same buzz, that same enthusiasm to play a show to 200 people in Leeds as I do when the Vamps does like the O2. It's like a bizarre thing, but I'm so grateful now that, and I think maybe it is something that's that's come with age. This moment of thinking, you know, like I think when you're 15 through to mid 20s, you feel immortal and you don't really care about life in in well i didn't really think about life in in the same way i do now and now you know like i'm 30 i i look back at what i've done and really appreciate and acknowledge like the achievement and i hope now that moving forward with every opportunity i get i try and live in the moment and be present and recognize that what i do for a living is abnormal and <laughs> i'm extremely privileged yeah.